Hello everyone and welcome to Code Tales. Let me start with a story today. I was writing some code for upcoming episodes and I needed something to store a stack of structs. The code needed to repeatedly reference the top element and read and write fields from it, so I ended up having a lot of code looking like this. Now, this is not exactly pretty, but it can be hidden behind the macro to make things more readable. The question I had was, what is the cost of these chained calls? I searched various forums and documentation about the cost of checking for option and calling unwrap, and everything I found said that theoretically it shouldn't cost more, but I couldn't find measurements or assembly dumps that showed what actually happened. And it was at this point in the story that I realized that the future episode I was working on was this one, because I needed to benchmark and understand if the rumors are true. Is bounce checking in vector free? And how can I show it? I decided to do two things. One is compare benchmarks between this and unsafe, no bounds checking accesses, so the difference can tell me the additional cost of unwrap. The second was to take a look at the assembly and understand what the compiler actually does. Here's the benchmarks I ended up with. First, we have the original way, last and unwrap. This is always checked and it will panic if last returns none, so it's memory safe. I wanted to compare this to code as similar as possible but without any safety checks. That would be the base performance and the difference would basically be the cost I pay for safe access. The first thing I tried was copy the code from the vector implementation but remove all checks and I ended up with this. Another way to do this that is less hacky is to use the unchecked read method on the vector. That's our third benchmark. The loop body is the same for all methods, so they can be compared. It does both reads and writes, and I had to play around with it a bit until the compiler didn't act all smart and reduce it to a single instruction. Keep in mind that Cargo Bench will compile for release, not debug, so it's optimizing things quite a bit. We'll see the assembly later and it will become clear. The reason I have the benchmark methods return and the print line at the end is so the compiler doesn't optimize away everything. That's a common pitfall with benchmarking and this trick seems to work fine for this test. To run all this, I'll use cargo bench, which requires Rust nightly and enabling the test feature. This gives us the bench attribute, which saves us the trouble of writing tedious benchmark harnesses. With all of the setup out of the way, here are the results of cargo bench. These are nanoseconds per iteration so lower values are better. I show a single execution here, but I rerun this multiple times and the results are consistent. As you can see, for this benchmark and on my machine, bounce checking when accessing the last element of a vector incurs some extra cost that actually seems incredibly small. Keep in mind what we compare here, a completely safe access method versus the most stripped down way possible to access the same location in memory. The checked read version is just a bit more portable and less hacky code and it performs exactly the same as the fully safe version. From this I can say that yes, the rumors are true. Checking for option is very cheap and probably should not be your first optimization target. But this doesn't explain why any of this is happening. What magic goes on to make a full bounce check so cheap? Let's compare the generated assembly for the safe read and for the faster unsafe method. This is from a release build, not debug, so we are looking at the exact same bits that we benchmarked with whatever optimization Rust-C included. This is the setup for the two methods, this runs only once so we can ignore it. This is the main loop body, and as far as I can tell, this is where the difference comes from. It looks like the pointer offset axis generates a slightly tighter loop, but I can't tell where that is coming from or what that extra instruction is for. However, that's not the important bit. What I think is more important is that in the safe access method, the bounce check is inlined as a comparison and jump instruction, not a method call. Additionally, the loop is extremely small, so the branch should be predictable by the CPU. All this means that this check is as cheap as it can be, probably costing next to nothing. This demonstration is enough for me to be convinced that I don't need to worry about the cost of calling last repeatedly or calling unwrap on the result. But apart from the technical aspects, there is another more fundamental conclusion that I take away. Compilers and CPUs are magic. 
The idea that all the method chaining would cost extra is rooted in an ancient understanding of how code is compiled and run. Optimizers and CPUs have gotten so good that for most things you don't need to worry about performance. The system will take care of it. Sure, there are the occasional hotspots that need addressing, and multi-threaded code is still a bit tricky, but for the most part, don't worry about optimization until you actually prove that there is a problem. Anyway, that's all from me today. If you found this useful, consider subscribing to the channel, and follow me on Mastodon, where I post about all the additional research I do for these videos that doesn't make it to the final cut. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.